When a baby was born in the year 1900, she lived only up to the age of 47. The major health challenges were infectious disease, and microbes were the causes of disease. Timing matters. The reason timing matters is all of our bodies have a timing system or a clock that runs on a 24 hours basis, or called circadian clock or circadian rhythm. So over the past 20 years, what we have discovered is every morning as we open our eyes, the bright light signals through our retina and synchronizes a small part of the brain that has master circadian clock to the day and night cycle. And this brain clock sends hormonal signal to the rest of our body. But what is really surprising is this. Just like our brain has a clock, Almost every organ in our body, even every cell in our body, has its own clock. And the brain signal synchronizes all these clocks, so they work together to produce daily rhythms in behavior, physiology, and metabolism. Almost 15 years ago, we made a huge discovery that made it to the top 10 breakthroughs of the year by the prestigious science magazine. And the discovery was we found the blue light sensing protein called melanopsin, that's present in 5,000 squiggly neurons in our eye. And the same protein is found in both normal people and also blind people. And these neurons are literally hardware to the master clock in our brain. But over the last 100 years, we have moved into indoor spaces. We spend more than 90% of our time indoor. And the bright light and bright screen at night activates melanopsin, it reduces sleep hormone melatonin, and we have sleep disruption. And as long as our eyes are open, our mouth is open. <laughs> so we wanted to know what is the effect of food on our circadian clock. So we went back to lab, and we made another huge discovery. That is, just like light at night disrupts our brain clock and keeps us awake, food at the wrong time can disrupt circadian rhythm and disrupt our normal metabolism. But what happens if we just extend that last meal late into the night? So in this case, our body's circadian rhythm becomes much shallow. So it continues to make fat for a very long period of time, and there is not enough time actually to burn fat naturally. For 100 years, nutrition science has taught us to count calories and watch carb, protein, and fat in our diet. And what we discovered is it's not only what you eat, when you eat also matters. Just like our brain has a clock to make us sleep and wake up every day, all our organ clocks need some downtime to rest, reset, and re rejuvenate every day. The bottom line is 50% of adults eat for 15 hours or longer. And all of these are teaching us one big thing, that is a body's biological clock is just like a simple scheduling program. It has programmed us to eat and sleep at the right time of the day or night. And if we stick to this, our appointment with our biological clock, then we stay healthy. Even if we have some chronic condition, if we select our 10 to 12 hours eating period and sleep well, we can reverse or cure a lot of chronic diseases that affect more than a billion people on this planet.